Hi there, this is Emily from Obior. Thanks for signing up. This is how your website looks now. You have a home image, a contact form, and depending on the steps you've completed in the sign up flow, you might also have a Facebook, Instagram, or SoundCloud integration. In the next four minutes, you'll learn how to easily build out your website. On the left, you'll find the main menu. We'll first explore content. The primary item here is sections. Depending on your theme, this might also be called pages. On the sections page, you can do several things. You can change the order of your menu items. Just drag them in the order you want. You can change the name of a page by clicking on the wheel. Click on View Website and you'll see that your menu has changed. If you add a new section or page, there are several sections you can choose from, like photo or video. Choose a custom page if you want to create something different than offered by the default sections. Click Edit Content to edit a page. For example, if I click on the Edit Content next to Home, I can add another image or set a video as my home. The following item in the menu is Widgets. You can choose from several widgets, like a Facebook page widget, a Twitter feed widget, a newsletter sign-up widget, or a widget that links to all your social channels. Creating a widget is easy. Just click on Choose Widget. Select the widget of your choice and follow the steps. The third item in the menu is Pop-up. A pop-up is a widget that appears in front of your website when someone visits it. Love it or hate it, but a pop-up can be a great tool because it can't be ignored. Setting up a pop-up works exactly the same way as a widget. The next item in the menu is Social Media Bar. A social media bar helps you to gain more followers and likes on your favorite social media channels. The position and design of the bar varies per theme. To set this up, go to the icon you want to show on your website and drag it to the right. Then enter your username, handle, or URL. The last item in the menu is Action Bar. The Action Bar was designed to set your website visitors into motion. Have them call you to make a reservation, send you an email, like your page on Facebook, or follow you on Spotify. Watch the Action Bar tutorial for detailed instructions on how to set this up. Under Design, you'll find two items, Design Editor and Browser Icon. Some of the things you can do with the Design Editor are Choose a theme. Upload your logo. Change the colors of your website. Change the fonts. Change the font size. Alright, back to the dashboard. Go to browser icon to upload that little image that is shown in front of your website title. Go to settings to do things like purchase a new domain or add a domain you already own. Adjust your search engine optimization settings. Connect to other platforms like Facebook, MailChimp, or Twitter. You've now seen an overview of the main features of Obior. Whenever you have a question, please reach out to us by clicking on the red button in the lower right corner. We're here to help you. Again, thanks for signing up and have fun building your website.